So at ROG, we really love desktop replacement gaming laptops. They give you incredible performance and amazing gaming experience, and they are actually portable. They're not necessarily the lightest systems, but you can easily put them in a backpack, take them somewhere else, set up, play games, do work wherever you want. The problem is that cooling is really challenging. If you look at a clamshell design, there's not really a lot of room for airflow around the sides, and there's almost none under the system, which is where most of the intake occurs. So we thought to make a better desktop replacement, we kind of have to turn the form factor on its head. So this is the ROG Mothership. It's designed to stand tall instead of sitting flat. We put all the heat generating components here in the back, which means they can breathe very, very freely compared to a traditional design. Now the cooling is so good in this system that we can actually make the chassis about 25% thinner than an equivalent clamshell uh, without losing any performance. So this has the same overclock components as the uh, G703 clamshell that we make, uh, but in a noticeably thinner chassis. This kickstand here at the back is also stepless, so you can change the angle and it gives you a little bit more freedom as well. Now with most laptop configurations, the keyboard is right in front. That works really well if you're just doing email or browsing the web or just typing, basically. Uh, but when we were researching desktop replacements and what people were using them for, we realized that a lot of people attach a mechanical keyboard or a separate keyboard and they have it off to the side. They don't actually use it right in front of the system. So what we to do is make the keyboard detachable and wireless. So you can detach it, fold it up, position it wherever you want, or take it away entirely if you have a preferred desktop keyboard that you'd like to use instead. Now the connection options for this keyboard, you can use 2.4 gigahertz wireless, or it also has a type C port here, and we include a cable so that you can run it wired if you want extra low latency, or if the battery on the inside of the keyboard is running low. Another benefit of this design is it allows us to put all of the speakers right up front so they're firing directly at you. So you don't run into situations where you have side firing speakers that are putting sound in, in directions that are not directly towards the user or down firing speakers that are bouncing it off the table. So we actually have 16 watts worth of output here spread across four uh, speakers with smart amplification. The system is surprisingly loud for how small it is. So almost the entire chassis of the ROG mothership is CNC machined from solid blocks of aluminum. It actually takes almost 20 hours to do all the pieces that you see here. Um, and CNC machining is, gives us a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, one, it allows a really, really precise fit so we can make the chassis as compact as possible and fit everything in very neatly. It's also very strong, which gives us a, a durable chassis. Although desktop replacements are not something you would necessarily associate with portability, we did design the system to be portable and we do expect people to deploy it in various locations and transport it between them. So we wanted to have something that was very durable. Uh, it's also a very premium finish. It feels nice. Um, one of the other things is that because the design puts a lot of the heat generating, generating components directly behind the display, we need to actually protect the display from the heat. So this integrates a heat shield. So the display sits here and then all the other components are on the other side. So this helps separate the two and prevent heat from one from damaging the other. And up here we have the motherboard and you can see some of the components here. Uh, we actually have cutouts here in the motherboard. This is for the hinge mechanism that um, controls the kickstand. This is actually leaves room for the battery. So even in a larger system like this, we do carefully shape the motherboard to make sure that we can maximize the space inside the chassis. Uh, a couple of things that you can see on the board, maybe not from this distance, but close up. Um, we do have 2.5G ethernet port built into this motherboard. Um, that's fa much faster than the standard gigabit ethernet that you would get on traditional laptops and even most desktop motherboards. Uh, it's not pictured here, but we do also have an 802.11x or Wi-Fi 6 module from Intel. So it has next-gen networking, not only for wired connections, but also wireless ones. Here you can see there are three M.2 slots here. Uh, this is for a three-drive NVMe RAID 0 array that we have as an available option. Now, a lot of the time with laptops and even desktop systems with multi-drive NVMe RAID, you'll find cases where performance isn't great because all of the drives are connected to the chipset. The problem with that is that the chipset, the link between that and the CPU is about as much bandwidth as a single NVMe SSD. So if you have more than one, you're gonna end up with a bottleneck. So what we do to avoid this is two of those slots are actually connected directly to the CPU, which means that we can hit speeds up to 8,700 megabytes per second, which is the fastest laptop storage configuration around. Another thing to notice here, you got a couple of DIMM slots. There are two more on the other side. We can equip up to 64 gigs of RAM in this system. 
Um, with a desktop replacement that is this powerful, although it's a gaming rig, uh, a lot of the time we find people are using these as basically portable workstations where they need not just um, a powerful CPU, but they actually do need powerful GPU uh, for everything from accelerating content creation to running deep learning applications. Uh, so being able to equip 60, 64 gigs of RAM is really important for that audience. And in this case, it's all based on SO DIMM slots, so it's really easy to swap the memory if you need to as well. You know, notice over here we have a heat spreader even for the SSDs. One of the benefits of the um, design of the chassis is the, the SSDs actually get more airflow than they would in a normal clamshell design, and we do have a heat spreader that covers all three. Now, most SSDs don't overheat, but they do tend to throttle if you uh, expose them to prolonged storage loads, like really long file transfers. So what the SSD or the heat spreader does is it just helps delay when that throttling happens. And the same thing with the, the additional airflow that's facilitated by the system. It just makes the SSDs run a little bit cooler. And you can see here uh, with the cooling system, it's pretty beefy. Um, we've got four radiators, we've got four heat pipes per chip. Um, one of the benefits of the design is it actually puts all the exhaust around the top edges of the system, so you're never gonna have hot air blowing onto your hands while gaming, which is a problem with a lot of gaming laptops. Um, you notice we've got large heat spreaders here. These are designed uh, to cover not only the CPU and the GPU, but also the components that are feeding them power. Uh, that helps those components stay under 80 degrees uh, Celsius, which helps to prolong um, longevity of the, the power system. Also, there are some nice little touches here. It's upside down, but we put a nice little ROG logo there. It's not something a lot of people are ever gonna see unless they open up the system, but for a high-end build like this or high-end rig like this, um, you know, attention to detail is something that is really important to us. All right, so the display on this is 17 inches. It's a full HD panel. It's an AHVA IPS type panel. It has 144 hertz refresh rate with a three millisecond response time, which means you get really, really fast response, a really crisp picture with low blurring. Uh, it also has G-Sync support and incorporates our GPU switch, which means that you can switch between G-Sync mode for a better gaming experience and Optimus mode for longer battery life. Up here, we actually have a Windows Hello compatible webcam that's integrated. So it does have an IR camera as a part of that, and it's actually is capable of recording 1080p footage up to 30 frames per second. Down below, we've got a, an RGB keyboard. This actually has per-key backlighting, it supports Aura Sync, which means you can synchronize it with other compatible peripherals, uh, like ROG, ROG mice and headsets. And if you hit this little button here, you can actually turn the touchpad that's on the side into a numpad if you want to do quick numerical data entry. Now, in terms of ports on the side, over here, you'll notice that we've got an HDMI output, We've got uh, type C, we've got a type A port, we've got an SD slot. This only has one power adapter plugged in right now, but it actually comes with two. We need that much power just to handle the components on the inside. An overclock Core i9 and an RTX 2080 consume more juice than we can get away with with a single adapter. And then I'll just bring around this side here. And here we've got two more type A USB ports. We've got standard analog audio jacks for a microphone and headset. And we've got your Thunderbolt here on the side. We've got uh, another type A port and then your 2.5G ethernet as well. So this is the ROG mothership. This is coming out later this year. It's, it's kind of a radical internal concept turned into a real machine. And we're really excited to revolutionize the desktop replacement industry.